To learn more about earning college credits with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click the link in the description. In ancient Egypt, laborers gathered the stalks of papyrus plants and split them down the middle to collect the pith. Then they pounded and pressed it together to form a writing surface where they could keep notes, write stories, and make art. Thousands of years later, a French artist used a sheet of silver-plated copper sensitized with mercury and iodine fumes to capture real scenes as they appeared in front of him. That became the first modern photograph. For thousands of years, humans have created and used technology for artistic expression. When you major in digital arts, you explore how art and technology work together to express ideas, convey emotions, and persuade audiences. Hi, I'm Cassandra Ryder, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series that explores different college majors. In this episode, let's look at the dynamic world of creativity and technical skills that is the digital arts degree. Like we mentioned earlier, creative arts and technology come together in the digital arts field. But what does that mean? Like, what if I take a picture of the Mona Lisa, then share it on Instagram? Does that count as digital art? Or if I record a song in an app on my smartphone, add some auto-tune, then share it online? Is that digital art? Technically, yes. Personal devices and digital creation apps make it possible for all of us to become digital artists. And in general, many different kinds of artists take advantage of digital tools. Photographers, illustrators, animators, painters, and digital designers can all use technology to make art. Like a photographer who uses a digital camera to capture wildlife images, then edits them in Photoshop, is a digital artist. But digital art isn't limited to the visual arts. Musicians, dancers, choreographers, and directors can all use technology to create art as well. Like, if a composer writes a symphony, records it live, then uses a choreographed light show to present it to an audience, that's digital art too. It takes a lot of dedication, technical know-how, and creativity, but earning a digital arts degree shows employers that you're versatile and imaginative. It also proves you're capable of envisioning unique ways to share ideas and concepts with different audiences in a range of contexts. That's why many schools offer a bachelor's degree in digital arts, which is a general degree that focuses on the creation of multiple types of digital art. At these schools, you may be able to declare an area of specialization, like web development or interactive graphics. But a general major isn't the only way to get a digital arts degree. Graphic design, photography, animation, sound design, videography, game design, animation, and web design are all majors that fall under the digital arts umbrella. So if you want a broad base in the digital arts, a general degree may be a great fit for you. But if you know your dream job is in a specific field, like becoming an animator for a movie studio, then a specialized degree is a better fit. Regardless of what degree path you choose, you'll take a similar set of core courses that cover a wide range of topics in the arts and technology. For instance, almost all digital arts students take classes in the history and theory of digital media. And art history courses teach you how to analyze the visual and sensory aspects of art from different periods and cultures, from prehistoric art to surrealism. These classes help you understand how and why art and digital media became intertwined and how using them together has shaped cultures and societies. Digital arts students also take courses that develop their basic art skills. That includes figure drawing, 2D and 3D design, and color theory. These courses are usually project-based, and you may even create an art portfolio or participate in an art show at the end of the semester. You'll also think critically about your creative choices, how they express meaning, and how audiences react to the art you create. Finally, you'll take specialized courses in the software programs you need to master in order to create digital art. Technology course requirements vary between schools and are usually determined by your area of specialization. Like, if you're focusing on web design, you'll probably take courses in coding languages like HTML and CSS. Many programs offer a variety of technical classes covering areas like animation, sound design, video, and game design software. And as you progress through your degree, you'll also have the option to take more advanced courses and electives based on your interests. So since a digital arts degree focuses on applying tech to the creative process, it's no surprise that it's a great fit for creative people who like to experiment with technology. But the digital arts is also a people-oriented field. In order to create art that connects with others, digital arts majors need to represent how people and animals move and express feelings. They have to learn how to create emotions and moods and tell stories through different media. So if you're observant, 
empathetic, and a good communicator, you have important skills you need to succeed in a digital art program. People who work in digital arts have to master technical skills as well. For instance, digital artists sometimes need to learn coding languages to design websites, and most digital artists use some kind of software, like animation or video programs, to make their art. Developing technical know-how requires problem-solving skills, patience, and determination, not to mention attention to detail and precision. And while prior experience with art skills is always a plus, you don't have to be Michelangelo to succeed in the major. You'll take basic courses that help you learn and develop artistic techniques. As long as you're willing to work hard, practice a lot, and take criticism, you can do well as a digital arts major. Having said that, some digital arts programs come with prerequisites or requirements you have to fulfill before you start your major. For instance, if your program awards a bachelor's degree in fine art, you may have to submit an art portfolio when you apply. But the truth is, students can succeed as digital arts majors in all types of programs, whether they have prerequisites or not. Just remember to think creatively, embrace technology, and practice, practice, practice. And that whole practice thing, it makes digital arts degrees programs a lot of work. To get creative projects done on a deadline, digital arts majors need great organization and time management skills. So you'll need to stay on top of your assignments by using a planner or something similar to track your work. Digital artists are creative, but that doesn't mean inspiration always strikes when they need it to. Creative blocks like these can be really frustrating and discouraging. That's why it's a good idea to communicate with your professors and ask for advice when you hit a block. Some students also struggle with the critique process. Critiques are when a professor or your peers give you feedback on your art. And sometimes, critiques can be tough to swallow. Like if your professor compliments the subject of your photographs but says you could have used the lighting more effectively, it can be tough to hear. But critiques help artists improve their work and get better at their craft. Prepare yourself to take feedback by remembering that every artist gets critiqued. Yep, even the famous ones. At the end of the day, you can ask yourself some basic questions to get a feel for whether a digital arts degree is the best fit for you. Like, are you interested in both the art and the technology side of this degree? Are you willing to put in the hard work that it takes to learn artistic techniques, coding languages, and different art software? And are you willing to burn the midnight oil in order to get a project finished on time and accept critiques of your hard work? If you can say yes to most of those questions, then a digital arts major might be right for you. And there's so much you can do with your degree once you graduate. Digital art is everywhere. We see it in advertisements, social media, news media, movies, music, and video games, which means you'll find digital arts majors working in pretty much every industry. The most common roles for digital arts majors are video and motion graphics, visual development for games and animation, and interaction design. For instance, you could work as a 3D motion graphics animator for a video game developer. Or you could work as an interaction designer and build a mobile app for a retail company. You'll find many of these roles across multiple industries, like architecture firms, industrial design firms, and film studios need 3D designers. And digital designers are in demand at advertising agencies, tech companies, and retail corporations. Basically, there are career opportunities everywhere for digital arts majors. But different careers in digital arts require different levels of technical knowledge, artistic skill, an industry-specific experience, which means that the salaries for digital arts professionals can vary widely as well. And no matter what major we're focusing on, talking about salaries is hard because so much can change depending on lots of factors, like where you live. For a general digital arts role, salaries typically fall between $60,000 and $81,000 per year, with an average digital artist earning $70,000 annually as of February 2023. On the higher end of the salary spectrum are technical artists and visual effects artists, who can make between $65,000 to $130,000 a year. On the lower end, videographers tend to make an average of $44,700 per year as of 2023. But whatever career you choose in the digital arts, there's always room for salary growth. On average, the salary for digital artists jumps about $5 an hour for every two or three years of experience. And the more you focus on the tech side of the digital arts, the higher your earning potential. As a digital artist, you'll spend your days getting briefed on projects, collaborating with other creatives, and making art, of course. Keep in mind these careers can be intense and fast-paced, and sometimes that means working long hours. 
But many digital artists thrive under pressure and love the thrill of delivering amazing work with their team. But if that doesn't sound fun to you, a digital arts degree gives you plenty of transferable skills that apply to other careers. For instance, you could transition to a role in education, museums, or nonprofits. And if you want more control over your work environment, you can consider freelancing or contracting. That allows you to choose your clients, set your pay rate, and decide how many hours you work. That way, you can create the art you want to make on your own schedule. When you major in digital arts, you get to dream up unique and innovative ways to make art and technology work together. Whether you're using your digital arts degree to create visual effects for a movie trailer or working as a 3D designer to model building plans for an architecture firm, you'll get to be imaginative and innovative almost every day. With a digital arts degree, there's something for every type of creative and many different forms of digital technology waiting to help you bring your creative vision to life. If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, check out our other videos in this playlist. To find out how to earn college credit with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click on the link here or in the description. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like and comment to let us know how you chose your degree or what you wish you'd known before you started your degree. Thanks for watching.